Yeah, hi, this is SY Sublime, and today I have a new addition to uh, SY Sublime. I have bought the um, Garmin GNX Wired Sour Pack 52. Um, comes with a G Wind Wide Transducer Wind Sensor, uh, 810 Transducer, G Wind Instrument. A G G N X twenty wind instrument. Um, I just picked up this today at West Marine. Um, because I have a, a pro account with them, I got it for a few hundred dollars cheaper. So that's the uh, mast instrument, the wind instrument, uh, the uh, G N X ten mounting box. And the two um, MFDs, uh, LCDs, and then the uh, the transducer. So I'm just going to do an unboxing today. Um, this is from the back, this is from the side. So yeah, and the side's the same. You can see that? So uh, yeah, open it up. Get this opened. Oops. Um, anyway, so let's uh, put this down. Foam out. Toss that. This one out. Toss that. These are obviously the transducers in here. Here are the two transducers. Two of them. There's one there. And that's the back. It's the same as this one. It's there, that's the back. So it's those two. Um, these are obviously the things to make it waterproof. These are all the um, all the instructions and cutout templates. This is the. I don't know what that is. I think this is the GNS10 box, I think. I'm not sure. This is the um, the cable, the, 20, the wide 25 meters of cable. I went with the wired one because um, I was going to do the wireless one, but I just told there's a lot of problems with the wireless one, so I went with the wired one. This one, there's no problems. These are. More cables, these are probably my just my two meter and six meter cables. It's my wind sensor mount. This is um, a terminal, my uh, NEMA 2000 T bone and terminals, which I don't know why they gave me more terminals. I have enough terminals. This is the power cord. These are more um, NEMA 2000 uh, terminals, uh, T-bones. This is the um, RMR. No, we'll get to that later. This is the um, GNX, uh, the uh, G-Wind. Trans wind transducer. Oops. This is the, uh, the blade, and there's the box of tempting. Let's um, toss this box over here. So this is the, uh, the Garmin G-Wind um, wind transducer. 
This is all actually um, carbon fiber, nice and strong. This is the uh, cord, the connector. And this is the head, which I'm not going to set anything up yet. Um, I'm just uh, pulling stuff out, just doing the unboxing. Um, this is the AMR. Okay, instructions. Oh, here we go. More stuff. This is the um, AMR um, transducer. Speed, wind, speed, depth, and speed, depth, and temp. Little thing. I'm gonna have to, um, and I think I'm gonna pa paint this with some prop speed uh, before I install it. I gotta hold my boat out first before I can install this, but everything else is gonna get put in before, except for this. Um, I'm gonna paint probably paint this with um, some some prop speed so it just stops some, some of the growth getting on it. Um, But I'll test it all out and make sure it works. But it won't be going on the um underneath the bottom of the boat yet. Uh, and these are the uh nuts. And this is the um plug. In case you have to um plug it up if you have to change it out. Oh, it. Yeah. That's the plug. And this is the uh, through hole. Um, this is the. Yeah, it's supposed to spot water come, coming up, but. I don't think it's going to stop very much water. It's still got all these gaps there. It's going to have water coming through there. I see daylight, so. It's supposed to stop water from coming in. I don't think it's going to stop any water. It's going to stop some, but not much. Quite a bit. Anyway, this is um, plastic. I would have rather this be made out of um, um, brass or bronze. Maybe I might copy it. Might copy it. Oh, it won't it'll interfere with it, won't it? That's why it's not made of bronze. So yeah, so I can't make this out of bronze. But I will paint this with some prop speed um, to stop the, some of the, to inhibit some of the growth, green growth on it. Um, it's the same stuff that you paint. Uh, yeah, yeah. If you've got underwater lights, paint it underwater lights with that too. Prop speed stuff. And then these are, this is the our owner's, owner's manual. Just, you gotta keep those. Spare O ring. Gotta keep that. Uh, through, through hole feel. Through hole screws. Get the idea. And this is a spare O ring for up in there. To put that in my um, spare parts box. Along with this, this one too. Put this in the spare parts box too. So, yep. Um, that's that. That's the. Uh, the 10 transducer for the through hole. This is the um, propeller for the G wing and the retention screw. So 
uh, number 2000 backbones. Right here. This is the field installable uh, fitting. The G wind, and I'll give you a bunch of screws for it with it. And um, I know what these are, but I know what these are, but I don't know crimp fittings, I guess. But I don't have a crimper to do this with. I don't know what these go on. Oh, I know what these go on. These go on the, the wires for this thing. Go into there, I guess. I guarantee that's what it's for. Yeah, that's what they're for. For these wires to go into. There's five of them. So, oh well. Anyway, that's what they're for. So I have the um. There's five. There's five of these. Um. So predicting that there's one. Oh shoot. Um. One is for the power, which will probably be the middle one. Uh, one is going to be for the 810 transducer. One is going to be for the um, the G wind, and these two are going to be for the um, one for each of the, the L LCDs. Um, this is going to be difficult because I'm going to have two different. You can only have two terminators on a string. Um, up in there is where it's going to go. Um, this system here is a this system here I put in a couple of weeks ago in another video is a redundant system. I have two I have two um, T bones in there with terminators on it, but they are totally separate from this system that's going to go up in here. I'm going to get a, a Garmin 8612 MFD for up there and in a couple of weeks I'm going to be buying a um, uh, the, Gar the Garmin Autopilot hydraulic, uh, ho uh, hydraulic Autopilot that's going to have its own uh, independent that's going to be its system it's going to be hooked to this system here but all these have to be hooked to that um, I don't know, I'm trying to figure out how to keep this system redundant from this system. Because this is my redundant system in case something I get struck by lightning. So I then I've got also I've got put in two uh, GT fifty ones in here. Sonars and then a panoptics forward looking sonar up in there and they're going to have their own system so I'm probably going to have five of these down in there and um, eventually have five of those in there and then um, they'll all run off this backbone I guess or oh, I'll expand this backbone so anyway this is the power cord not be by itself, and then this is the the terminator for the top, and this is the one that's not that has the f factory field terminator put on it. To choose this this one goes on goes on there. Right. So that's how I ran it. So these are the two Garmin GNX 20s here. I don't know which is which. So I'm guessing this is the one for the wind. Probably because this is going to be purple. No, nope. well, I'm guessing that this is the one for the wind. And this is the one for the the, the other transducer. Yeah. The 810 transducer. That's what I'm guessing. And this is the back of them. GNX20 and GNX wind. This is the GNX wind. And 
then this is the GNX20. This is for the um, sonar. And this is for the wind. Solves that problem. Yeah, that solves that problem. Yeah, that's the wind one. This is for the wind. It's got the boat on it. It says GNX wind. It's for the wind. And this is probably there yeah, for the sonar temp and uh, all the other stuff that goes with it. Um, yeah, that's for that. And this is the GM GND ten. This is it's tiny. My hand covers my hand covers it. It's not very big at all, because I thought it'd be bigger. Um, yeah, so this is a G G N D ten. So this is the um, the Nemi two thousand. This is Nexus. And then this is uh USB here. I don't think I'd be using the USB. So if you cover that up. I think I'm only, I may think I'm only gonna be using the Nemo 2000. Unless there's a controller here for it. There's um, in there. There's no cover for this one. Unless I have to use one of these. I'll look at the instructions. But yeah, I'm not sure where I'm going to mount this. Um, probably be best to mount it. Probably inside my engine bay. Close to where my helm is. Because these, because of these, are right there. Um, close to those, I guess. Yeah, I don't know where to mount this thing, really. So, so anyway, to summarize, we have um, the Garmin. So to summarize, we had the Garmin LCD GNX10 um, LCD. We had the GNX20 LCD. We have the GNX GND10 um, box, whatever this does. We have the Airmar um, transponder, oh, sorry, Airmar transducer for uh, speed, depth, and temp. We have the waterproof fittings for the um, yeah, accessories. We have the G Wind mount, mouse mount, wherever you want to put it. With the 810 uh, through hole fitting. And we have the 810 uh, plug. Like that. We have the 25 meter cable. We have the uh, three drop cables. We have the NEMA 2000 backbone, T bones. We have the power cable. We have the NEMA 2000 field installable cable, which goes in. We have this sorted screws, etc. Accessories. We have the G Wind transducer. We have the prop. 
and the retention screws. The user guides and manual installation manuals, etc. So this um, concludes the unboxing of the Garmin GNX Wired 52 Cell Pack. This is what you get in the box. Um, this is everything. I want to get my uh, hydraulic autopilot in the next uh, next month. I'll uh, be doing that unboxing video on that I won't be doing a uh, unboxing uh, installation video on this just yet um, so I'm just busy so with other things so this will be a, a later project I may be getting I may get up may get the the GNX wind installed and then work on it over a period of time just like do no, little videos here and there but anyway this is a um, SY Sublime Fair Winds Temperate Seas Sandy Toes and Margaritas more about that next time